Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I will show you how to install the rear seat belts and seat belt buckles on a 2016 Dodge Charger. This video will apply to last generation of Dodge Chargers made from 2011 all the way up to 2021. Now this charger I'm working on is actually ex-police charger and it came without the rear seat belt, seat belt buckles and the rear seats were actually just thrown in, not, not installed properly. So unfortunately this video will start from this point once the seats are out so I would recommend you that you first Remove the rear seats and then continue watching this video. Unfortunately, like I said, they they cut pretty much bunch of stuff here for some reason and the seats weren't mounted at all. So that's why I have to first install the seat belts and then I will deal with the with the seats later on. I just finished the rear passenger side, it's all good to go and the buckles are here as well and now i will also show you how to do the uh, driver's side i will show you all the uh, mounting points and all the screws and how to actually attach it and properly install it so in case you are replacing your seat belts or seat belt buckles this video might come in handy okay so i had actually quite hard time finding the replacement uh, seat belts and seat belt buckles for Dodge Charger. It actually fits from 2011 all the way up to 2021, but none of the local salvages had any, so I had to have it shipped from uh, quite far away. And but luckily they sent me everything I need, so I will take this apart and I will show you show you how to install it. But before that, you'll also have to remove this trim plastic piece and this piece here as well so both of them just pop out there is no screws holding them just bunch of plastic clips so the upper part you just want to pretty much pull it off it doesn't have to be removed all the way this will do fine and now you have this part which has to be completely removed because the seat belt which will actually have to pass through this hole here so you want to completely remove this for now just pull it towards yourself to get all the pins out and remove it okay and now you will have access to all the mounting points now on my charger there is a buckle here for some strange reason it's not supposed to be here so i mean in your case you won't have this here but i will remove this that's supposed to actually be here in the middle okay so i've got the belt here taken apart now pretty much what you have to do this tensioner will be mounted right here at that position this piece will go above it into this hole right here and this bottom screw will go into this hole right here where I had my belt buckle but before you start doing anything you will have to uh, pull the seat belt through this hole right here to because this this plastic piece this plastic trim piece is actually part of the seat belt assembly I'm trying to work with one hand here anyways this plastic has to go through and then lock in place okay just like that and now this piece has to lock here it has to clip in and that will prevent this this piece of the seat belt to go any higher than this uh, plastic piece here Okay, so once you have the belt pulled through this plastic piece, now everything is pretty much ready to get installed. First you will install the tensioner. Tensioner will have this metal clip right here, which will actually go and lock into this hole here. And then the 
uh, screw will just go to so I will show you right now the first one to install it in place and lock it down and then you will see that the holes here are matching and you can just install the screw in and you will need the Torx T20 to a T, sorry T50 to screw it in so this is what you will have this is the first part of, of installation okay once that is in place you don't have to tighten it up all the way right now next thing you will do you will have this uh, smaller piece with the screw which will just uh, go up here into this this hole it's the same thing don't want to screw it all the way right now just uh, have it in place okay so once you have these top pieces uh, in place you want to pull down onto the seat belt and install this bottom screw right here and that is actually pretty much it so there is total of three screws holding the rear seat belt and they're all torx t50 and now you can use your ratchet to tighten them up And once you have uh, tightened all the bolts, now you can install the plastic pieces back. They will all snap in into their holes. There's a bunch of these plastic clips, right? Both the top part and the bottom part. And that's how you can install the rear seat belts. Once both sides are done, the, there is still the central piece to be installed. Now the tensioner will go just up here onto that screw, it should fit nicely and there is a 19mm nut that's gonna go just on top of it right here. Okay, so once this is in place and before you can start attaching the bottom part of the of the seat belt the seat belt buckle you will want to again pull this um, seat belt through this this trim piece exactly through this this hole uh, right here okay so this is what you want to get to pull the seat belt through this hole there is a cover for the hole and you will have the buckle hanging down last thing to do is just install this last nut which is 18 millimeters tighten it up and uh, yeah that's pretty much it this is how you install rear seat belts on a dodge charger thank you for watching this video i hope it was at least a bit helpful if it was please like it and consider subscribing to my youtube automotive channel on my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.